Don Farrell is stepping aside as the Deputy Senate Leader for Labor. This is clearly under pressure from Anthony Albanese, who made this announcement this morning, insisting this was a decision made by Don Farrell. It clears the way for Christina Keneally to join the leadership team and mean there are two women in the position and two men as well. Sky News political reporter Annalise Nielsen joins us from outside Parliament House. Annalise, uh, we've got the Labor caucus set to meet in about an hour's time, but in the interim the factions have been fighting it out as well in the lead-up to today's caucus. But really this was an interesting show of Anthony Albanese putting an early stamp of authority on the party. It is indeed. It was quite unexpected. We saw Don Farrell coming in this morning and he wasn't long after talking to Anthony Albanese saying he was going to step aside to let Christina Keneally through. And that is a big step for the Labor Party. We know there's a lot of factional jockeying that goes on in the lead up to this, especially as they thought they had their cabinet pretty well sorted when they thought they were going to be in government. Now they're coming back and fighting it out to see who will be on the front bench to lead them through the next three years. But what we do understand is Don Farrell has agreed to step aside to give Christina Keneally, the go, she was a strong performer during the election campaign. She acted as Bill Shorten's attack dog and she has been put forward by the right faction. Ed Husick stepping aside to let her uh, have a go as well. So it seems like she will be taking on that deputy leader role. But Anthony Albanese was insistent, saying that it was Mr Farrell's decision. He indicated to me that he was prepared, even though he had substantial support of caucus colleagues, he was prepared to step aside as Labor's deputy leader in the Senate on the basis that he understood that I'd made it clear that my view was there needed to be gender balance in Labor's leadership team. Now, it's not the only thing that's being decided this morning. We do understand Jim Chalmers is shaping up to be the shadow treasurer. It's a key role for the Queensland MP, who was at one point being touted as potential leadership material. He stepped aside, so Anthony Albanese could go for that position uncontested. But it seems like they still want his presence on the front bench in that very key role. And there will be a reshuffle on the economic portfolios in particular. And what we heard from Jim Chalmers today was that he does want to see a reinvigoration of the Labor Party. Uh, look, I won't go into the discussions I've had with uh, Anthony Albanese. The allocation of portfolios are entirely uh, a matter for him and the timing of the announcement of those portfolios, again, uh, entirely a matter for him. Uh, I've indicated to Anthony and to all my colleagues uh, that I want to play a prominent role uh, in Labor rebuilding and refreshing. Oh, no, I think uh, Bill Shorten's got every right to uh, make a contribution and it's up to him to decide what kind of contribution that is and it's up to our colleagues and it's up to Anthony Albanese in the allocation of portfolios. He's a former leader of substantial experience, uh, and I don't believe that we should discard people so easily. Now, the caucus is meeting at 12. It's the first time they've met post-election, so there will be a bit of a post-mortem. We're expecting Bill Shorten to be there as well and say a few words as they uh, relaunch their, their opposition for the next three years. And it will be a key moment for Anthony Albanese taking over as leader. We know he contested the leadership before and now he's uh, been successful this time. So we will be bringing that to you live.